Today we will talk about asymptotic analysis and in this video we will talk primarily about three things. Number one, why we need to analyze an algorithm. Number two, what exactly is uh, asymptotic analysis. And finally, we will discuss different asymptotic notations. Now, let us first discuss why we need to analyze an algorithm. In computer science, we try to solve a problem. Let us say we are trying to sort some numbers and to sort numbers, we have different algorithms like uh, quick sort. We can also use merge sort and we have various algorithms that are just doing sorting. So we have a problem and to solve a problem, we can have multiple solutions and these multiple solutions are nothing but uh, different algorithms. Now we need to choose the best algorithm or the best solution. Now, how do we choose the best algorithm? So we need to have some way to analyze the performance of the algorithm based on the time it will take and based on the memory or the space uh, it will consume when we actually implement an algorithm. And when we talk about the time, we are actually talking about uh, running time of uh, the algorithm, which is nothing but uh, a mathematical unit of uh, computation. Now, when we talk about asymptotic analysis, we are actually interested in understanding how the algorithm will perform when the input is uh, increasing. So in asymptotic analysis, we are mostly focused on a large input. And when we are trying to analyze uh, one or two algorithms, we need to make sure that our analysis is machine independent. So irrespective of uh, the machine where those algorithms will be implemented, we should be able to understand the complexity of uh, those algorithms. So when we talk about the asymptotic analysis, we want to know the growth rate of uh, of the of the algorithm if there is an algorithm whose uh, running time is defined by a function called fn equal to 2n square plus uh, 3 then we can find out the running time by using this function let us say for uh, n is equal to 1 this particular function will uh, become 2 plus 3 that is equal to 5 for n is equal to 2 fn will become uh, 2 into 2 square plus 3 and that is nothing but 8 plus 3 which is 11 if n is equal to 3 fn will become 2 into 2 cube plus 3 and that is equal to 19. Now if you look at this particular function, as the n is increasing, when the n or the number of uh, items is increasing or going towards infinity, the constant will have less and less impact and uh, the only impact that will uh, have is due to the n square. Even the 2, which is a constant here, will, will have a very less impact on the overall performance of the algorithm. And we can say here for this particular function that fn is asymptotically equivalent to n square as n tends towards infinity. So there is a way to define these asymptotic uh, 
analysis. So we have different notations. So let us go through these uh, notations. So let us go through asymptotic notations. So one of the most popular notation is big O. And uh, this notation is used for uh, the worst case scenario. Then we have theta notation, which is used for uh, average case. And we also have omega notation, which is uh, used for best case scenario. Now, you will be required to solve or to identify or find out the worst case, average case and best case uh, for different algorithms. And uh, when we're talking about worst case, we are actually talking about the upper bound. When we're talking about uh, best case, we are talking about lower bound. And uh, the average case is known as the tight bound of uh, those algorithms. So we need to understand now how to calculate uh, upper bound, tight bound and lower bound. And we will do it in our next video. Thank you very much.